Hi, everybody. Happy Earth Day. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reading Greta and the Giants. This is inspired by Greta Thunberg's Stand to Save the World. It's written by Zoe Tucker and illustrated by Zoe Persico. So Zoe wrote it and Zoe illustrated it, but they're actually two different people who just have the same name. It was the inside cover. And now let's start the story. There once was a girl who lived at the heart of a beautiful forest. Her name was Greta. This is must be Greta right here. She looks like she really loves all the animals in the forest. One morning, things weren't quite as they should be. Greta stepped out into her yard, and there, huddled together in the shadow of the trees, were all the animals of the forest. See, here they are, animals of the forest. A soft, silvery brown wolf stepped forward. Which one do you think is the wolf? Which one is silvery brown? I think it's this one right here. With his tail low to the ground. You know, it means that a dog or wolf is scared or sad when their tail is low to the ground. Please help us, he whispered. The forest is broken and we don't know where to go. The giants are ruining our home. The giants had always been there for as long as Greta could remember. But now they were worse than ever. They were huge, lumbering oafs. And they were always busy. With those big giants, they look scary. They chopped down trees to build homes. Then they chopped down more trees and built bigger homes. The houses grew into towns and the towns grew into cities. They built factories and shops and cars and planes. They worked all day and all night until eventually, what do you think is gonna happen? with all the chopping down trees and building big cities. There was hardly any forest left. Just a few little trees that don't look very happy. But the greedy giants had forgotten how wonderful the forest was. They didn't see all the little birds and bugs and butterflies and bears that trembled in the shadows and no one told them to stop because everyone was scared of them. Everyone except Greta. Will you help us? asked the wolf. Greta looked around her. The animals looked tired and sad. She had to help them, but how? Then Greta had an idea. And ideas are very important things. The next morning, Greta went to the middle of the forest and waited for the giants to come. She stood alone holding a big sign. The sign said, stop. There it is. S-T-O-P, stop. She waited and waited. On the first day, the giants didn't see her and lumbered on by. 
and on the second and third too. What do you think they're talking about? The second and third, probably the second and third day. There's somebody who sees her there in the woods though. But on the fourth day, something strange happened. A little boy who had been watching Greta made a sign and came and sat down next to her. He didn't say much, but Greta knew he felt like she did. Her sign says, stop. His sign says, listen. So they want the giants to stop and listen to them. Soon, more people and animals saw what they were doing and joined in too. There's lots of signs now. Stop, listen, but many more, like this one that says, save our forest. Down here, this little animal is just saying, help. And somebody drew a pretty picture of the earth. Before long, a huge crowd filled the forest, stretching out to the city and the roads beyond. They stood together and waited. The crowd was so huge that the giants were stopped in their tracks. And here's what Greta said to them right here. Please stop, Greta cried. Your greedy behavior is spoiling our home. You've broken the trees and trampled the flowers, and now the bees and birds have flown away. These animals are homeless, and our forest is dying. After Greta had spoken, everything was silent. But then everyone in the crowd began to shout. The smoke from your fires is choking the air. And please stop cutting down the trees. You can help plant some new ones. And they still have all their signs, like this one that says, we need action now. Here's more animals shouting, and mend my home. We need to take care of our forest and live together. Will you please try? They all said. The giants shuffled and fidgeted and stomped their feet on the ground. They were embarrassed and a little sad. You see, the giants were so busy building, they didn't see what they were doing to the forest or the animals who lived there. The giants felt terrible. We're sorry, they said, and they promised to try harder. So from that day on, the greedy giants weren't so greedy. They slowed down and learned to sit quietly. They stopped working all the time and instead took up new hobbies. Look, this giant is knitting a huge sock. They stopped chopping down trees and learned all about gardening and living in the forest. They cooked, repaired, tidied, and shared. And before long, what do you think is going to happen now? I had to guess. 
I think the forest is going to be better than ever. The forest became more beautiful than they could have ever imagined. <laughs>